Hey YouTube, you, hey YouTube, this is Reddit Mechanic, and I know you saw this mud mower like, like however long ago you watched that video, like three days ago or something, and it was just boring old lawnmower with some, some little tires and sit low to the ground. But now look at this thing; it's got 25 inch Kinda Bear claws on the back on 12 inch rims that fit on the axle. This thing is absolutely huge. I mean, if I'm right not went mud bogging in it, that's, yeah. This tire's a little flat, that's why it's lower on this side. Well, this thing's huge. And I lifted the front end of it up an inch and a half or so. As you can see, my homemade lift kit video I did, if you want to know how to lift your lawnmower like that much, just look at a video on my channel. I'll show you how. Let's see, this thing's lifted. Has an 18 horsepower motor, which I'm gonna tell you about in a minute. I literally drank this gasoline. So this thing's pretty beast. It's got a six-speed spicer in it, which I'll get be getting a peerless, don't worry. I'm not a wimp. Now this motor here is a where's this thing? 18 horsepower overhead valve craftsman motor, like Intech, Briggs and Stratton crap. And this thing is an 18 horsepower motor, but it has the power of like a push mower for some reason. The carburetor is pretty clean. I cleaned it, but it just has like no power. Like you can be in fifth gear and have six gears and try to do wheelie, and it literally like stall the motor out. It's so weak, and, like full throttle. There's something wrong with this motor. It makes it super duper weak, and also it drinks gasoline. Like I filled that tank up, and like you could run it for a little bit, and like it just drank gas almost. It's just terrible. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take that motor out and put an old motor in it, because old motors. In my opinion, can do better. I've got a 12 horsepower flathead Briggs and Stratton motor right there. Somebody painted the cover, that was me, but it's right here. 12 horsepower.